Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. I'm Sam Kim. In the upcoming videos, I would like to introduce how you can do metric type conjoint analysis by using conjoint package in R. So in this video, I would like to cover basic concepts and part words utility. I think the first thing you need to know is about terminology. In conjoint analysis, attribute means variable. Sometimes we also consider price attributes as a continuous variable. And a label means kind of category level in each variable. Then we can get the combination of all levels from all variables. Simply, we can say it is profile. So if you have two levels from three attributes, then uh, eight profiles can be generated. I would like to explain conjoint analysis with T data. T data is available from conjoint library in R. Right, let's activate conjoint library. Right, and let's get T data. Right, let's see profile data. So T P R O F T profile. Right, as you can see, there are 13 profiles. There are four attributes. Price has three levels of uh, three levels, and variety also has three levels. Kind has three levels, and aroma has two levels. So, for example, a profile a 13th profile has three, two, three, two levels. It means that uh, price has three: uh, price, high price green variety, leafy kind, and no aroma. So, you also can see a uh, level description from T uh, L E V N, right? So, as I highlighted, so it uh, has the uh, level description information. Okay. Right. Uh, also, uh, uh, conjoint package uh, provides uh, preference data from 100 respondents for T data. Okay, so T preference measurement, right, uh, it is uh, 76, but there are more. So uh, let's see, head T. Right, for first six respondents, we can see this data. The column name is profile information, and the row is respondents uh, information. So there are 100 respondents, and for example, the first respondents gave 8 score for profile 1, and for profile 13, uh, the first respondents gave, four, uh, gave a score as 4. So uh, if we link with uh, level information, then we can say that the first respondents gave score 4 for this profile. Okay. So, to clearly understand conjoint analysis, uh, let me show you how we can get part words utility for first respondents in Excel. So, again, the first respondents uh, gave a score uh, from profile 1 to profile 13. So this horizontal information, I changed it uh, in this way. So uh, for profile one has price, variety, kind, aroma information. And preference data is a score for this profile. So in order to do regression analysis for uh, first respondents, we need to change it as, uh, as dummy coding. So because uh, price has three levels, we need two uh, dummy variables. So uh, price at three has been coded as zero and zero, and price as one has been coded P1 as one, P2 as zero. And price for two uh, also has been uh, coded as zero and one. All right? So in the same logic, we can change variety, kind, aroma, uh, variable as dummy coding, okay? Uh, and then 
we can do regression analysis for respondents. So uh, we can say that conjoint analysis is basically based on uh, regression analysis by each respondent. So in Excel, I calculated uh, coefficients for first respondents. And uh, in our program, for example, let me show you. Uh, Uh, Patworth utility, so CA T and T PRE FM. We can give a specified respondents uh, number for, uh, for first respondent to third respondents uh, profile information and level description. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So for, for first respondents, second respondent, and third respondents, uh, coefficients. So again, let me uh, let's just transpose. All right. So for for the first respondents, we can see intercept and uh, row medium high uh, coefficients and black, green, red uh, coefficients. Then in Excel, if you do uh, regression analysis with dummy coding data, then you can get this output, right? Then you, uh, in our program, actually, it centers uh, coefficients by using average of uh, coefficients uh, in each variable. So price, the average of price uh, for these coefficients is minus 2.659. So if you minus it, uh, substitute it, so then um, you, you can get this centered coefficient, right? Zero minus minus 2.659 equals plus 2.659. Okay. Right. Then, uh, as I highlighted in PowerPoint, this. Uh, Pathworth utility has lots of information. So if you used uh, CA importance with TPRF preference measurement for first respondents, You can get uh, importance for each uh, variable. So this first respondents treats uh, price as the most important attribute. This one. So this uh, importance, sum of this importance equals 100. Then uh, let me uh, explain how we can calculate importance by using uh, Pathworth utility. So uh, this centered uh, coefficients, we can, uh, by using this centered co uh, coefficients, we can calculate the range from uh, max to uh, mean, right? Right, then uh, you need to uh, sum all uh, range data as denominator and then put uh, numerate part for price and the second one uh, variety kind and aroma then you can calculate uh, importance for uh, each attribute right that's it for today i wanted to uh, today i wanted to explain uh, basic concepts of uh, conjoint analysis and how we can drive Pathworth utility, and also how we can uh, calculate uh, attribute importance by using uh, Pathworth utility as a uh, first respondents example. Please click like, click like, and subscribe if it was useful for you to understand uh, conjoint analysis. Thank you.